Now y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it. And what's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. What's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Independence Day, and I intend on doing the exact thing, um, the exact same. What's going on? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up. Now, as you guys already know, there was no Whether You Like It or Not panel yesterday due to the fact that there was no new episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but we'll be back next next Monday um, on Josiah's World TV's platform. So make sure you guys tune in next Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Also, I have you know that the Boys Night Out panel will be returning later this summer. Um, I'm looking at late August, early September. When we come with the official date, we will announce it and let you guys know what it is. But um, yes, Boys Night Out will be returning later this summer. Also, roast a review with myself. Uh, myself, T, and Josiah. We will be on Josiah's World TV's platform tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central for Love and Hip Hop ATL's brand new episode. They will be airing tonight. All right, so make sure you guys tune in for that. Now, now that we're done with the church announcements, Let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, we're here to talk about some love and marriage trans T, honey. And y'all know that I don't review the show no more, but I do still cover some of the stuff that goes on on social media because it is a part of the mess. And we're going to get up in here and talk about a little bit of Miss Melody um, Holt and um, what's her name? Ariane Curry. Now, as you guys already know that last night I did a live where Melody told her to pull up. Okay, Melody is tired of Ariana and her bullshit. She's tired of her on social media. She is just tired, 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 okay? And everybody gets tired. Anytime as time goes by, people get tired. When you get when you're trying to ignore stuff and when you're trying to just be classy about a certain situation, you get sick of the ish and she got sick of it and she told her to pull up. And I could not be more happy. I was here for the madness. I was here for the BS. I was here for melody in that moment. And y'all know I don't normally be here for melody, but when it comes down to this situation, I'm gonna always be on her side when it comes down to that particular situation. Now, as you know, last night we left it off with this message that Ariane left. And this was sent to me by Jamie. That's me. She sent it to my text messages. So shout out to Jamie once again for this. But Ariane had posted this last night. And she said, girl, like, why are you so mad? I was clearly not talking about you. You've seen the messages. My daughter is with us. She's included in the five. Your son is with a cousin. So it was five kids. Now what? Call and tell the girls good night. You pulled up and didn't do ish. Knocking on the door and talking about we just want to talk, LOL. I swung on Martell and you was froze looking stupid before you ran and had three other girls and still ain't do nothing. This was over four years ago, T. Two. So I guess you ready now? You can try to spend this all y'all want. You just mad because you thought I was talking about you and now you look stupid, but go off. Okay, so that's what Ariane said last night as I was closing my live. But then this morning, Mel woke up with the same energy and she responded with, man, this bird still talking noise. Focus, baby, focus. Work a little harder so you can be wifed up so you can stay overnight when my kids are there. See, you thought you ate baby cakes when I actually already knew you've been around my kids to Nashville cooking, et cetera. Cause your boyfriend said he needs a little help. Cause it's hard baby cakes. I keep my kids covered in prayer for all. And yes, I mean all of y'all demons. Now, like I said earlier, pull up or shut up. It seems like Melody is still on the verge and on a, on the war path of telling her to pull up or shut up. And Ariana is still not taking the bait. Um, after all of the noise that she's talked over the last couple of years, you would think that she would definitely pull up and not shut up. But apparently Melody has put in a little bit of fear in her heart with her uh, Alabama fair in her country voice. And she has decided to shut up. Then Melody responded with, Listen to and listen, my beauties. Y'all know I'm legal. I'm still legally on it. And let me play the song, honey. Let me play the song that is in, that is a part of this post, okay? Um, because y'all wanted me to play it last night, okay? Where is it? At? Where is it? At? Where is it? At? Where is it? At? I think it's somewhere in here. Damn, she took it down. Yeah, she took the shit down. That's but see, Melody be pissing me off with shit like this. Why you take it down? Oh no, she didn't. 
Or did she? Oh, yeah, she took that part down. But it was talking about you going to jail, you going to jail, you going to jail. That's pretty much what that was about right there. You going to jail, you going to jail, you going to jail. And you need to go to jail doing the shit that you're doing, Miss Ariane. Because it's really a hot mess. But, you know, let's continue on with the mess. Now, then Melody also came back and said, so me finally saying something back to this bird, but all the is she been doing ain't changing that, I promise. Okay? And then she also said, for people that are new to this, the only reason why we are here these two weeks is because Lil Bird was secretly recorded admitting to the RP accomplice still having a video, etc. And that's just weird and stalkerish to me. And I decided that I was no longer ignoring Kyra on Beyonce's internet. This little girl been wanting my life for years. Well, you finally going to get the attention that you've been wanting. And I think she said something else on her story. So let me go back to that on my phone. Let me pull it up real fast, okay? I think she said something else because I don't recall seeing this when I was pulling this up. Um, Where is it at? She said, I see a lot of new people and I want to address something. Let me put the, let me put the overlay up because I don't have it on here. But she said... Um, she said, I see it's a lot of new people and I want to address something so it's no misunderstanding. I went off on live yesterday because I have had enough. I've been taking a high road for years now. And to be clear, Martel is not my man and I don't care about anything. I don't care anything about what he has going on. And that's the problem. Even though I don't deal with this man, this bird is still discussing me. And now audio has been released confirming the whole revenge P plot and her having it and willing to send it to a block. Blogger. So yes, y'all see me respond to this bird after ignoring her lives, posts, discount codes, little interview, etc. for years and trying to take the high road. But enough is enough. Hashtag tired. OK. And um, yeah, she's tired. And um, one 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 person can be tired. Then she also went into the comment section on one of the blogs. I don't really recall which blog it was, but um, she went under the comments and she was basically practically, she practically said, um, if you're in the comments, beauties, and don't know the story, this is where this came from. As a matter of fact, why is this not? Hold on, y'all, because I put the wrong thing up here. Wait a minute, you guys. There it is. Put that up here because I, I don't like that. That looks so unprofessional. Yeah, there we go. So she says, if you're in the comments, beauties, and don't know the story and where this came from, let me make it clear. This ain't my man. I left him three years ago and gave him back to the streets. Divorce. I finally responded after years of ignoring her shady posts and lives mentioning me and my kids. This bird just crossed the line because the leaked secretly recorded audio just came out where she's admitting that she had the revenge P tape of me and my then husband and could send it to a blogger because she was on the, that she was on the phone with weirdo. So play stupid, win stupid prizes. Okay. So that's pretty much the gist of this situation. And I must say that I'm not mad with Melody at this. And at this point, I ain't mad with her. Like I can, I, whatever strong opinions that I got about her, I can put that to the side for this particular situation. And I just feel like she's really not doing anything wrong in this. Ariane has been coming at her crazy for the last couple of years. She's been making discount codes dedicated to the girl. You know, she's been doing all kinds of stuff. And I can say that Melody has ignored her for so long. She did the interview with Tasha K discussing Melody. Melody didn't say anything about it. She, you know, she made a discount call, calling it double sick, a shot at Mel, mentioning her kids, saying that her ch children made her the kids sick, all this other stuff. And my thing about it is with Martell is that this woman has talked about your damn kids and you still willing to have her around your damn kids. Something is seriously wrong with you, but you would do anything to piss Melody off though. You know, anything, anything that you know that would get up under her skin, you willing to do it. You know what I mean? And that's really sad, but that's just your truth. You willing to do anything to piss that lady off. And it's sad and it sucks to be you. It really does. Okay. It, it, it honestly does. But that's you and your own insecurities and your own situation. And Aryan is really trying to spin this thing around and gaslight and play the victim like she don't know what really went down. You know that you've been coming at this girl. You've been sucker punching Melody for the last couple of years. She's been taking it 
and taking it and taking it. And she's done taking it. And you know she's done taking it. So let it go. You know that you was fucked up for the things that you've done. Get over it. Get over it. It's nothing else that can be said at this point. And that's all I really got on that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, y'all, this has be your boy, Scott, about Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys, if I'm out of here and on to my next video, I'll holler at you guys a little bit later. Bye.